Amigos y amigas, bienvenidos a la simulación de este jueves por la noche. <coughs> Lo subo hoy miércoles porque... <coughs> pues si no, ya qué chiste subir una simulación, ¿no? Ya estamos aquí, señores. Ahí está, en Olmaden, como... Ah, no, no está. Olmaden, ahí está, para que no digan que no. Jueves por la noche contra los Seattle Seahawks. Tenemos que ganarlo, sí o sí. Eh, vamos a ver si a mí me sale, ¿verdad? Vamos a ponerle aquí... Eh, un clima, pues, digamos... Eh... Vamos a ponerlo eh, random, a ver cómo lo pone. Vamos a ponerlo más tarde porque se va a jugar más tarde. Ahí está. Eh, ahora no, no, no he pagado la suscripción. La neta es que para qué, ni tengo tiempo de jugar. Entonces mejor me los he hecho así, las simulaciones. Para no hacer el franchise porque luego ese franchise este, nada más para eso pues como que en él. ¿no? Entonces aquí andamos. Vamos a rifarnos contra los Seattle Seahawks. A ver cómo nos va, a ver cómo nos sale. Yo espero que bien. Este. Si sí he jugado más. Si sí he jugado un poquito más. Entonces espero que sí. Les podamos ganar a los Seattle. A los Seattle Seahawks. Y aquí estamos, señores. Ya. Se viene el juego. Eh, jueves por From la noche. Lo necesitamos para recuperar la división. Úrgenos. Ahí está el Jimmy Smith. Es una especial. Prime Time Edition. Bueno, ahí los 49ers también. Ahí está Jordan Mason. Quiero nombrar, que lo ponen, como lo necesitamos, tenemos que muy decente. Vamos a ver qué pasa, señores. Ahí está Fred Warner, vamos ya, ahí está el Chavaris Ward. Y vamos a empezar las acciones, vamos a ver si recibimos o pateamos. Ahora sí que vamos a recibir, ah, no, vamos a patear. Bien, me gusta patear. Y así empieza este jueves por la noche. Now the Michigan man sí, ver, sí, Jake Moody to get us started and off we go from Seattle. No queremos problemas, no queremos que se nos vuelva. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the line. The Seahawks set to go on offense here and it is the pro bowler Geno Smith at quarterback Charles in his 12th NFL season. And Smith continues to show that his career resurgence hasn't been some fluke. He's brought a level of maturity, stability and good play that allows him to compete with any team so on que any Robert given Salah. week. The real question ya is whether or not he's going become a championship caliber Parece. quarterback. Parece Only ser. time will tell, but for now, Niners he's done enough to give this franchise reason to believe they, 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 they can certainly get the job done. Salah no quiere nada este Smith going to go to the air first play. The catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. ¿Quién sabe qué demonios pasó? A mí se me hace muy raro todo esto. First carry here for Kenneth Walker the third. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. Vamos a ir allí por avanzar. Y vamos a ver todo un solo corredor del lado izquierdo. From the gun, here's Smith. This is Fant on the short completion, and he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down, Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Lo está haciendo cada vez un poquito mejor. Según su servilleta, pero... Touchback, touchback. Pero... And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. So the 49ers get ready to go on offense. And it's the Pro Bowler Brock Purdy at the helm. In his third NFL season now out of Iowa State. And the great story of Brock Purdy continues. Had he been drafted in the first round, I think people would be singing his praises to the skies. But for whatever reason, people can't let go of the fact he's Mr. Irrelevant. And they don't give him the credit he deserves. He is not just a system quarterback. He's a guy who enhances his team. Not just alone for the ride. He's the one steering the ship. And without him, they're seeing a significant drop. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. 
Back to throw. Purdy connects with Kittle underneath. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yards. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Toss play to Mason. And everyone on their assignment defensively there. This will be taken down behind the line. They lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say, play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out. Worked out well. And he is going to have a 49 in his first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, I want to do body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and they stacked him up. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Seahawks 26. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Throwing here, Purdy, working in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now they run, it's Mason. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. No score after one on EA Sports. Estamos en el cuarto en dos en dos series ofensivas. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they go to work on a first and goal. Purdy looking to throw. On the screen, this is Mason. Touchdown, 49 Touchdown. Touchdown, Mason. Touchdown, 49 yard touchdown grab. And the Niners post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Actually, there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field ready for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7 nothing is the score as they begin with a first down. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of 8. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays. No yeah, chance to get away there yeah. from Smith as he goes down. Malik Collins collapses the pocket and drops him for a loss of three. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. Here is third and five. Now Gino. Out right to Smith and Jigba. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a pickup of six. 
So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a draw play. It's Walker. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Here's Smith now on second down. No where to go here. He lost the football. Now this is some bad nothing but green grass here. Middle of the field. And he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49 touchdown. They give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right? My friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Moody good with the extra point. And it it's now 14 to nothing. <sighs> so not only the cough up, hey, you but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble <laughs> return for a touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Here's Walker to start the drive. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Throwing now is Gino. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he'll be out right at the 35. The first catch of the ball game there for Metcalf. And a first down to boot. Here's Smith. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Walker now on first and ten. And he's got this one across midfield in the 49er territory. Walker. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked to turn to the side. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Now it's Smith. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Walker. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Gino down to throw. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And now there's a scoop done by the 49ers. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47 yard line. He already had the one fumble loss, so now two fumbles lost here in this first half. Not setting the pace the way that you want it done. I mean, here in the first half, already twice the ball's come out and hit the turf. Got to find a way take care of it. Otherwise, they may have to start thinking about maybe someone different at that position. A Brock Purdy in the offense. It's back out there. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open, some of them use those left hand feats, some of them move, some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a round, too. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35 yard line. Nine yards that time. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? 
Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you can zone blitz game. And you can drop from anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now the Fumble to the the and they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. You can't admire his willingness to sacrifice his body to try and pick up the first down, and I do, but let's face it, you know the coaches are going to warn him about diving or extending for a marker for this exact reason. So much easier to have the ball knocked free when you're extended like that. So if you're going to dive, you got to make sure you secure the football, which he did. Following the fumble recovery, Smith. And complete to Smith and Jigbo. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Smith on first down. This is Fant on the short completion. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Out of the gun, Smith. Flush to his right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Running left is Walker. He'll get it up near midfield of the 49 before being taken down. So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. A two touchdown game, 14 to nothing the score as we get rolling again here in this second half. And the half will begin with a touchback. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. The drive begins with Mason. And some space here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. From the 43, here's the second down and six. Now Purdy. Flushed out right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football. And he's taken down. It'll be a loss of only a couple on the sack, but now it'll bring up third down. And you saw everything that we saw out of Murphy coming out of college. Leverage, quickness, a dynamic disruptor. Purdy with it on third and long. Oh, and yeah, that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try to get some points. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Straight ahead, Walker. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Smith now to throw. Oh, and it's a double coverage intercepted. Picked up by Trevor. 
And right about now, you start to think, and maybe they're starting to think, gosh, maybe points aren't going to happen for us in this game. Well, it's a thought that is worth having because so far in this game, this defense has not just had the upper hand. They've appeared to be a step ahead, maybe even two steps to everything they've done. They've had an answer for everything this offense has thrown out. A great move, couldn't free him. Taken down at the 10. Gets a pick up of four, and it'll bring up second down. Second and six for avanzar. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Now this red zone is where the Seahawk crowd really makes it tough for an offense to communicate. It's third down. Touchdown, Senores. Number one, Mr. Pinto. Touchdown, the Kyle Juszczyk. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Niners take a three-touchdown lead. Well, nothing complicated about that. That's old-school power football. And effective. And that's the key to everything, right? Sometimes we try and do too many things. Just hand it to the big guy and let him go forward. Now Moody for the PAT. And it is now 21 to nothing. Dos, trece en el tercer cuarto y entra el momento de la solución y el nervio para el touchdown run. partidos, algo pasa. So, following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. Yo no voy a permitir que pase. Estaba pasando, pero ya. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Smith. Steps away to his left. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Opting to run for it. The decision to go and picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Smith. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Nick Bosa, his second sack of the night. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there is just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those on bases are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. It's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Another modest gain there on that one, and I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional on this one, haven't they, partner, because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. Not to do it, like throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. Before they can get the punt away whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Here we go on fourth. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. Back to throw, Smith. Throw out wide to Walker. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. 
And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. To throw is Smith. Hey, stop. To the right side. Tell the Look out. Look out. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And the Niners will take it over here. And they get it up to the 43 yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of a big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses. But you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Starting the drive with Mason on the ground. Oh, some strong running. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 57 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest. And they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Mason. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. The Niners on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and seven. That's right against Samuel, but it's intercepted. Julian Love picks it. And they will finally stop it, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down the 16-yard line. So they get the interception and, and almost as importantly a big return after that. And who was the guy that saved the touchdown partner? The guy who threw the interception a lot of times, he just gives it the old old lay, but give him credit. He went old school. He was determined not to make this a pick six. And he got there in time to make the tackle. Here's a second and five. Now Smith. Ahora no sé si cómo pueden Myers connects on the PAT and they'll cut the lead to 21-7. They have the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. And the 49er team does its job. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he'll go down at the 28. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Primero 10, se le da la 28, ya como su primer tiempo fuera Seattle. Viene el movimiento en la ala cerrada. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. On the ground again, it's Mason. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. 
Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll come up now, third and nine. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And they try to set up the screen, but that almost disaster as it falls incomplete. Very nearly a turnover, but it's fourth down. Yes. And this will be off the right upright, but he banks it in. A high degree of difficulty there, but he gets it to go. And that will extend their lead even further. So he needed a little assist from his friend the right upright, but three points all the same. Yeah, he's a right-footed kicker. Normally, you don't mess with the right upright as a right-footed kicker, right? You're trying to bring it back right to left. But in this case, he got the assist. Right was right. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the right on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. The Smith's throw caught here by Metcalf. And Metcalf going to have the Seahawks first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. A shotgun snap for Smith. Now wasted time going right back to K. Metcalf. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get upset. Smith throwing again. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And now they're in the hurry up. Now Gino on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Smith. It's caught. Lock it. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 24-yard line. One last throw here for Smith. Escaping the pressure right. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. For the winning side, Charles, all that was missing was a shutout. Just giving up the seven points, that's it. But really, an incredible game from this defense. A very well-earned victory as a result. Definitely one of the best single games for defense that you and I have seen in a long time, Brandon, because all we saw was that defense making big play after big play. They got after the quarterback. They had takeaways. You name it. They outclassed them every step of the way and checked every box on the stat sheet in getting it done. Y, este, y compartir las impresiones de lo que será el juego de mañana. Cuídense mucho, señores. Ganamos 21 a 7 aquí en la simulación. Les mando un gran abrazo a todos. Mucha buena vibra. Y ya lo saben, ya lo saben, ya lo saben. Ahí está. Co-Miners.